In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a Spearman correlation test. So in the welcome wizard, I'm going to select an XY type of data. I'm going to enter my X values as numbers and then my Y as enter and plot a single Y value for each point. And then I'm going to click the create button. So in this example, I'm going to just enter some data here. And what I have is 20 individuals and I've measured their height in meters in the X column. So I'm going to call this height in meters. And then for data set A, it is BMI, so body mass index. So what I'm going to do is assume that one or both of these data sets is not normally distributed. So if I want to do a correlation between these two variables, I would therefore have to perform a non-parametric correlation test, which is in other words, the Spearman test. So to do this, I'm going to go to analyze, click this. Under the XY analyses, I'm going to click the correlation option. And I'm going to click OK. In the next wizard at the top, uh, in terms of the computing the correlation between the pairs, I'm going to leave it as compute R for X versus every Y, because I've pasted my data in the X and the Y. Next, I, like we said, we're going to assume that this uh, is a Spearman correlation test. So I'm going to click no. So that I'm going to assume that the data are not uh, sampled from a Gaussian distribution. In this test, I'm going to do a two-tailed test because I don't know which uh, way the correlation is going to go. Again, I, I always like to do APA style format for the output. And then I'm going to click the OK button. So this is the output for the Spearman test. So let's go through this in more detail. So in the second row, you've got the R value. So this is the correlation coefficient, the Spearman correlation coefficient. And as you can see, it is negative 0 0.08. So this is a very weak negative correlation. You also have the 95% confidence intervals for these. And then in the next section here, you've got the actual p-values for the test itself. So on row six, we have p-value in brackets two-tailed because this was a two-tailed analysis. And we have the p-value reported here. So the p-value for this uh, test is 0.735. So obviously, this is not significant because it's above 0 0.05. This is summed up in the p-value summary. The next line is, is telling you whether the p-value is an exact or an approximate p-value. In this instance, it is an approximate value. The reason for this is because when you have 17 or more pairs in your correlation test, GraphPad will actually compute an approximate value. If there is less than 17 pairs, then this would be an exact p-value. Was this significant? No. And finally, you'll get the number of XY pairs, so the number of pairs of data, so this is 20 in this case. So that's how you perform a Spearman correlation test between two variables.